Hello everyone, Asra and Talon here. Welcome back to another episode of Half-Life Warm Life. Today we're launching into Blast Pit. And uh, you might remember last episode, we've got Hostiles, actually went pretty well. There were a couple of bits I was worried about, especially towards the end of the level, but it actually worked out pretty well. Blast Pit I'm not too worried about. Um, there are a couple of areas that could be a problem. Thinking especially the uh, the power room. There's a giant fan in there and it does catch me up from time to time if I'm not quick enough. So we're just going to have to see how we get on with that. It's a little too quiet. Oh uh, yeah. Hound dies. Hey! Go! I'm not sure it's even worth me killing a few of these. Don't really need to, unless they get in our way. And if they do, we can just run them over like that. Ooh, that's a bit brutal. Hey ho. I'm just gonna well, let that crash in. There we go. We don't need to worry about that. We won't be using it to go back again anyway. Uh, if I'd gotten a couple more shots on him earlier, I might have been able to take him out without taking damage, but never mind. There's a few jumping sections in this level that might be a problem as well. We'll have to see how we get on. Ow! Asshole! There we go. Oh! He's got a friend. Don't reload until you're sure it's dead. Is... Oh crap! The takeaway from that one. Yeah, I'll say. Could have been worse, I suppose. Oh, God's sake. Maybe I should have chosen to play the uh, Source version. I don't know if the movement system's any less kind of slidey. I don't know. No, apparently I'm going to have to maybe go up onto that pipe instead. Sometimes this system, this movement system feels just a little bit floaty. Doesn't always work out the way you'd hope it would. There you go. Fortunately that's got us up to full. Now. Yeah. him. I don't know how you get over there, but there are some satchel charges. I wonder if you can just run around the rim. Satchel charges could come in handy. I might just have a try. Might not work out, might go horribly wrong. Of course that's not going to be an explosive. Yeah, no, nope, that just went horribly wrong. Oh well, it was a small experiment, it didn't cost me very much health. There's got to be a way over there, I just don't know how to do it. I'm not that good at Half-Life, put it that way. Really slow ass lifts in this level. For those of you who have played Half Life before, you'll know this is the level with. Oh shit. I was hoping not to hit that barrel, never mind. Uh, the giant tentacles. Okay. Go. I was hoping not to hit the barrel because it's going to make the jump a little bit more difficult now. Never mind. It's done. Is it just me or is that bull squid very happy to see me? Shh. Quiet now. There we go. I don't think we have to go back across that jump, so we should be alright. Easy 
Thank you. I'm going to take it slow along here because I know there's a few sections. I'm going to involve us jumping around a bit. Uh, we need to get the fuel and oxygen and power on. No! 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 Get it off! Get it off! Get it off! Fortunately, I've got some grenades. We're going to need quite a lot of those. Vaguely uh, Middle Eastern style music in the background. Actually, you're going to stay here. I think you should stay here. You might know those turtles need sound to hear you or to actually locate you. So grenades are a good way of keeping them distracted. First door, that's good. Now I think I'm sure that panel collapses. I might be wrong, but hey ho. This time I managed to take that out without causing any untoward explosions. So this I think is the fuel and oxygen chamber. Yeah, we have got power to do as well, but We'll do that one next. Usually I do power first, so hopefully shaking up the order is not going to cause too many problems, we'll have to see. There's ourselves down here, and... I always used to have problems with this area when I was a kid. Again, because of the slightly floaty movement system. S struggled staying on the pipe a little bit. This one's not too bad though. <sighs> well, I stayed on the pipe. Just couldn't stay on the ladder. I want to go back around. What was annoying about that was I was already up that ladder, so I would have expected to be able to jump off it. Very few games actually seem to get ladders right, especially first person shooters. Sometimes they are just. They just do not work well. Grab ourselves some more grenades, we'll need those going back. Oh, hi! Oh, crap. No, it is this room. Oh, see that fan? This is the first one I'm worried about in this particular level. Because as soon as I hit that switch, I've got to be fast to get back up here before I take damage. Oh, Alright, that's good. We're all good. We're all good. That was the first bit I was really worried about in this level. I've been not quite fast enough before and that fan's just cut me in half. Why the hell that chamber is designed in such a way that you can't get back up the ladder if the fan's on? That's just a really bad health and safety issue. Up we go. And you know it's got to be a really strong fan if it can push you all the way up the room. Hi. got some friends in here, haven't you? You usually do. Yep, there you go. Need some more bullets at this rate. I'm using the pistol a lot in this level. Those uh, squeaking sounds, by the way, snarks. That's what I was trying to remember in the last episode. We won't see them properly for quite a while. They're cool, but they... Are they have the potential to cause you a lot of problems if you set them off in the wrong area? You know what? I just there 
Let's take care of those. I thought it was the power room that... Never mind. Okay, so anyway. First section of this level's finished. Need to go back and turn the power on now that we've got the fuel and oxygen up and running. Which means a trip back to the central area and then we're going to go down onto that level over there. Again, grenade out to try and distract them. There are monsters for a minute. The tentacled assholes. Oh crap! Bugger. I probably should have launched the grenade before going down that ladder. Well, that's unfortunate. I will reload. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have to head back through the game to get to Blast Pit again. Not there. Hmm. Anomalous material. There we go. Shame it was going particularly well, too. Or I thought it was going particularly well. Right, so we're going to speed through this so you guys don't really have to watch this again, and we'll try and pick up again in the same sort of area in Blast Pit. Possibly the beginning of Blast Pit. Why didn't they listen? We tried to warn them. I never thought which will hopefully go a little bit better. Cascade. There's unforeseen consequences taken care of. Let's try for office complex as well.
And there's office complex complete. We are gonna try, I think, for we've got hostiles as well. Let's see how we get on. No, don't go through there. Note to self. Letting that guy set off the pulse mine is a better idea. Then letting him run through and get the red lasers. Because that did not go nearly as well as our first playthrough. There's the, uh, there's the MP5. Could probably duck underneath that, couldn't I? Yes, is the answer to that, I can. Saves a little bit of bullets. And something's just set it off, probably the head crab. Take it out, huh? Sure not. Oh well, it must have been low on health. Scientists alive this time around. New personal best. Woo!
Alright, so we're back at the central shaft. That's where we'll leave this particular episode. It has not really been a lot of progress, has it? But we'll try and pick it up next time around and uh, get ourselves a little bit further. Until then, next time.